Hello viewers, this is Shredhar here and in this video I am going to discuss how you can actually make use of your light board for conducting lectures either recorded or online. So what you can do is, first of all have a look at this. You are having this tabletop light board where you can utilize this extra space for keeping your notes. You can even keep your laptop, you can refer to the notes in between and write on the light board. So let me give you a quick demo how I can give assignments or questions to my students to solve. So first of all, uh, you can write your subject name over here. It looks bright, right? So for example, this is my subject which is TCS. For example, I would like to give them an assignment. For example, assignment number two, I can, first of all, I can divide the space into sections for better space management. What I can do is, I can simply refer to my notebook. For example, this is the first question of the assignment. Convert the following NFA on non-deterministic finite automata into a DFA. Okay. See how bright it looks. Okay. This light board basically helps in creating interactive lectures where you can add graphics. You simply need to uh, draw on the board, you simply need to write on the board, whichever fashion you wish. So it gives you a lot of freedom to explore yourself. For example, these are the states P, Q, R and S dash. So let me write it over here. I am using neon markers by the way, if I had not explained in the previous video. Uh, I am using neon markers because normal highlighters may not be that effective if you use it on class. Okay. It is very easy to rub also, you simply need a piece of cloth, it can be either uh, wet cloth or even dry cloth, it doesn't matter. But just make one thing uh, sure that don't keep the ink for a long time on the glass because it will be difficult to rub it off. So uh, what you can do is just after your lecture, simply wipe off the glass board or sometimes they take a long time or a lot of effort to get them off the board right so make a habit of wiping off immediately after the lecture okay don't uh, keep it overnight or it will be really difficult you will have to apply water or solutions uh, for it to get rid of it right okay so just a small tip if you plan if you wish to use a light board for your lectures it would come really handy so let me show you how i am actually interacting with my students right now with the help of this assignment I am uh, recording this video with the sole intention of giving my students the assignment also to make you aware of how we can interactively use this light board. So basically this is an informative kind of a video which is useful for both the teachers and for the students also. Right? So here you can see you can manage your entire light board whichever way you wish. Over here I have written two questions. Okay, I have four questions for my assignment. So what we can do is once the students write down the questions, you can simply uh, rub off the first question. Okay, so this part now becomes easy for you to utilize. It's similar to a traditional board where you basically make use of chalk and board or you can call it as a white board where you make use of markers and the white board. This is similar to it but it uses glass as the interface or glass as the medium. That is the main difference. Otherwise, everything is same. Okay, so let me give you question number three. As you can see, I have different color markers. I will leave a link of the markers if you wish to uh, procure one. Okay, so see over here. You can even draw diagrams. They look absolutely brilliant on this glass board. So it depends upon which colors you get, first of all, and the medium you have used for making this light board. Uh, as I told you that you can even make glass boards or you can even make acrylic light boards but glass has a better impact because it reacts beautifully to light. Okay, So you can see that the diagram and the ink especially looks very brilliant when we make use of a glass board. They are very bright and prominent. Okay, So this is question 3 and finally I would uh, end with question number 4. Prove that the following language is reg not regular okay this is a language i have given and you have to make use of pumping lemma to prove that this is not regular so basically this is my very first video on actually using my light board for a lecture so 
you are the best judge you have to provide me your feedback in form of comments if you are comfortable learning like this or if you are comfortable teaching like this from the other way around okay so kindly drop in your comments your suggestions your feedback in the comment section i would be glad to answer to those suggestions if you want to construct your own light board you can feel free to ask me contact me i will surely guide you how to construct your own light board at your home if you have liked this content do leave a thumbs up share it with your friends and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so far thank you so much god bless you